Okay, just in case you're not looking at this question on my website, briefly we're given that y equals 3 sine theta all over 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta and asked to show that dy by d theta is given by this constant a, which is a rational number, all over 1 plus sine 2 theta. So how do we do this? Well, we've got to use the quotient rule. Should be familiar with this if you've been watching tutorials on my website. Briefly though, if y equals u over v, where u and v are functions of theta, dy by d theta is given by this equation here. And it's a good idea to write down what u is. It's going to be the numerator here, 3 sine theta, and v is 2 sine theta plus 2 cos theta. All right. OK, so we're ready to use this formula then to start to differentiate y with respect to theta. So if we do that, then we've got that therefore dy by d theta is equal to, and I'll just draw a long division line here. OK, so we've got basically the bottom of the fraction multiplied by the, by the differential of the top, first of all. So if we take the bottom of the fraction, it is 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta. And then we multiply this by the differential of the top of the fraction. Differential of sine theta is cosine theta. So we end up with 3 cosine theta there. All right, so that's the first term here. Now we've got to minus the top of the fraction times the differential of the bottom of the fraction. So we've got the top of the fraction, 3 sine theta, and that's being multiplied by the differential of the bottom of the fraction. So the differential of 2 sine theta is 2 cosine theta. Remember now that the differential of cosine theta is minus sine theta, so this becomes minus 2 sine theta. All right, so that's the top part. Now it's all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. So we've got all of 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta, and all of that is squared. All right. So it's just now a question of tidying this up. So if we expand the first bracket, multiply this bracket with 3 cosine theta, we're going to get 6 sine theta cosine theta. All right. And next we're going to get 6 cosine squared theta, 6 cos squared theta. And then we've got minus 6 sine theta cosine theta there. All right. And finally, we've got plus 6 sine squared theta. So plus 6 sine squared theta. All right. And all of that is over our denominator squared. So squaring out a bracket, then we square the first term here. That's going to be 4 sine squared theta. And then we get twice the product of these two terms. So the product gives us 4 sine theta cos theta. So if we double that, we're going to get plus 8 sine theta cosine theta. All right. And now we square the last term there. So if we square 2 cosine theta, that becomes 4 cos squared theta. Now, if I tidy this up further, let's just put a long line here. I can see that this term, 6 sine theta cosine theta, cancels out with minus 6 sine theta cosine theta. And that just leaves me with 6 cosine squared theta plus 6 sine squared theta there. And I can pull out a 6 between both those terms. So we get cosine squared theta plus the sine squared theta. And in the denominator, I can see here 
with the four sine squared theta plus the four cosine squared theta. If I pull out four there in front of those two terms, I've got sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And then lastly, for this last term here, I get a clue here because when I look at the denominator here, I can see sine two theta. And you should be aware that sine two theta is two sine theta cosine theta. And that's looking very much like this. So I could just write this as plus four and then in brackets, and I'm going to just do this in another color as two sine theta cosine theta. All right, so we should be able to pick up now very easily because hopefully you're familiar with cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta or sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. That's a Pythagorean identity, which is one. So what we have here then is just simply six times the one there. So that's going to be six. And in the denominator here, we've got four as a common factor. So I can pull that out. And we've got sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta again, which just said is one. So we've got one there. And we have got the two sine theta cosine theta. And I'm just going to write that in as being sine two theta. So we've got sine two theta there. And remember, it will be a plus there. And I'll just close that bracket off. Now the four and the six, they cancel. Two will go into the four and two will go into the six. Three times and two times there. Okay. And we shouldn't leave it like this. Although to me, it would look nicer written like that. It's quite unusual to write or to divide the two into the three. That will give us one and a half. But I'm going to write it obviously as three over two because we're asked to leave it as a rational number. Okay. And that will be over one plus the sine two theta. And that's what we had to show. All right. So quite long winded, but hopefully not too difficult. But if it did cause a problem, hopefully you've been able to see your way through that one. So thanks for watching. And as usual, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be really great, okay? You'll be kept informed of any updates, etc. All right? So thank you if you do.